We bless your righteous name. You are I am that I am. Thank you for a time like this in your presence for all that you have done. Glory to your name forevermore. Lord, at your feet you have gathered. Please touch everyone here as this word goes forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, open the eyes of your people to see your glory. Amen. Let this word enter their lives, Lord, Amen. and bring forth mighty miracles. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Somebody is blessed again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight we are examining the theme on masking the stealing schemes of the enemy. On masking, to unmask. On masking, on masking the stealing schemes of the enemy. On masking the stealing schemes of the enemy. On masking the stealing schemes of the enemy. If you need more light in this area, we can turn on this this light. I I I know it, it will be a long way. Thank you, Father Flo. The book of John chapter 10 and verse 10. John 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that he may have life and that he may have it more abundantly. Last month we are here and uh, we examined the killing operation of the enemy. That when the enemy is carrying out killing operation, operation to kill, is going after the body, the health of that individual. I will let us know that as the Lord has revealed in this scripture, Satan has three major ministry fold operation. Three fold ministry of Satan. The first one is the operation of stealing. Second one, operation of killing. The third one, operation of 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 destruction. These three operations, they target three things that the Lord desires for you and I. And what are the things that the Lord desires for his children? We find that thing in 3 John 1 and verse 2. 3 John 1 and verse 2. Above all, I wish that ye be in health and prosper as thy soul prospereth. Three things there. I wish above all things that thou may be in health, that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. So three things. So the first one has to do with financial material blessings your possessions. The second one is your health. The third one is your soul. So talking about stealing, Satan is after your possessions. It's after the physical things that you have. Talking about key, it's after the health. Talking about destruction, it's after the soul. That is, to deceive man, until that man backslides and ends up in hell. Yeah. So these are the three major operations of the enemy. Tonight we want to look at 
the scheme of stealing of the enemy. For our Lord Jesus to have revealed this to us, it means that we have to understand that the enemy is a thief. Amen. And it doesn't steal from his own children. No, it's not happy. Mm -hmm. They want to steal from God's children. Yes. <laughs> Tonight, every stealing scheme of the devil in your life, the Lord cut them down tonight yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I will not take heed for the Lord Jesus Christ to have brought this to us. We, are, we must take heed. We must take heed. We must be on the lookout. We must understand the stealing schemes how it carries out the operation. Before we examine that, let me quickly let us know that one of the titles of Satan, the arch enemy, is the thief. Is the thief. Why is it called the thief? Not because he has declared war against God's people to lure them to hell. No. He is called a thief because he has the agenda to empty their lives of their glory and their possessions. To empty their lives of their glory and their possessions. And that's why the Lord called him the thief. This thief has several channels of carrying out his operations. And we must understand, we must unmask these stealing channels. When we know them, then we stand to block those channels. And then perhaps he has carried out some certain attacks in the past before now. You know what to do. You have your understanding, your consciousness awakened that by these channels, the enemy has carried out evil operations against my life. And then I must do something. I must do something in order to recover everything Amen. that he has stolen. Amen. Tonight, whatsoever the devil has stolen Amen. from you, Amen. in the name Amen. of the Lord, regardless of the numbers of years, Amen. tonight the hand of the Lord is bringing them back in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What are the channels of stealing? Number one, channel is called ancestral rebellion ancestral rebellion ancestral rebellion ancestral rebellion before i take us into the word of god i will share life testimony of a pastor from germany who i listened to he was invited to speak uh, on this program, anchored by Sid Roth, you will know uh, this this program. It is supernatural. This this man was invited there. He said before he answered the call to full time ministry, he was into real estate. Things were hard. He did everything possible, but nothing was working. He was a a born again Christian. Spirit field. He said one day he was in his car. He sat down in his car and he entered into a vision. In the vision, he saw himself standing before a big mountain. And the mountain was gold. Golden mountain. And he said he saw an angel standing in front of the mountain. And he walked there. The angel said, Go in. 
as he, he stepped in, a door appeared and he entered into the mountain. Go. So when he entered, he saw a demon, giant demon. He said, the angel said to him, don't be afraid. This demon can't see you. Just go further. So he, he went further. And he said he saw several golden treasures. And the Spirit of God was telling him, he said, you see all these things here? They are the treasures of the children in your family. The enemy stole them from the family and they brought those things here. And they put this demon in charge of everything here. So that's why your life has been in hardship. He said he was able to locate the ones that belong to his family. He said he took the treasures. And suddenly he saw himself in the presence of the Lord Jesus. He now cast the treasures at his feet. He woke up, I mean, he came up, came out of the vision. That day he received a call about contract, big contract. And he said normally in Germany, it will take like three, six months before you can execute such a contract. But within a few weeks, two weeks, the contract was executed. And that was how God broke the power of poverty and sheep in his life. Yeah. Because he was able to, re to, to recover yeah. uh, what the devil stole away from his family. Beloved, there is what we call ancestral rebellion. In the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, let me show us Lamentations 5, verse 7 and verse 9, uh, verse 8. Lamentations 5, chapter verse 7 to verse 8. Our fathers have sinned and are not. And we have borne their iniquities. Verse 8. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. Let us look at it one by one. It is after the book of Jeremiah. Lamentations of Jeremiah. Before Ezekiel. Our fathers have sinned. They have rebelled against God. They have walked in outright rebellion. What happened? Say they have they have died. Say, and are not that this they are ancestors. They have died years ago. He said, and we born their iniquities. That is, we are now suffering from the repercussions of what they did of that rebellion. What was the consequence? Verse 8 now tells us. Says servant ruled over us. <laughs> servant ruled over us. Now servant are subordinate. And in this context, Satan and demons are the servant. How do I mean? Because demons are subordinate. They are beneath us. Amen, somebody. Amen. We are in Christ, we are master. To them. So they are our servants. Demons are our servants. The Lord said in, in Luke 10 19, Behold, I give you power to trample, tre tread upon serpents and scorpions. Serpents and, 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 and they represent the hierarchies of demonic forces. Serpents and scorpions. And over the power of the enemy, that is Satan himself. And no, nothing evil will hurt you. So they are supporting next to, to God's children. Now, the creatures that are supporting it, they are now ruling over them. So because they are ruling over them, they have power to take all their possessions. It's like a slave and a master. Everything that a slave has belongs to the master as well. <laughs> the master owns the slave. 
So everything that that slave has belongs to the master. Now, you see what ancestral rebellion brought these people. Their enemies began to rule over them. Demons began to take charge of what belonged to them. Ancestral rebellion. The enemy is aware of this because he knows that the word of God is true. In Exodus 20, from verse 4 to verse 5, especially in that verse 5, the Lord made a stunning statement that is a spiritual law. It is a a spiritual law. It is a spiritual law. In Exodus 20 and uh, verse 5 to be precise, said, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy God, am the Jesus God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon their children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Those that hate God, they are those that rebel against him. And he said, the consequences of what their fathers did, I will require of their children, children. That is why the enemy can get the old generations by getting one person in that family. If he can drag the father down in rebellion against God, he knows that he has the, the legal ground to attack the children, 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 children. Except those who are fortunate to find Christ. And they can pray out their heart by the authority of Jesus Christ. Ancestral rebellion is a channel of stealing because of the rebellion of the fathers the demons have legal grounds to steal from the children that is why even though some christians are they are really obedient but when you look at what is going on in their lives it is not they are keeping themselves from sin. The law of God indeed. In but most of the times it has to do with the ancestral rebellion. To enlighten the name above everything. That is one of the things that the Lord finished at Calvary. So every consequence of ancestral rebellion in your life today. The Lord terminate them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two, stealing channel. Number two, stealing channel. It is called unchecked demonic sexual attacks. Unchecked demonic sexual attacks. It is is it is a channel through which the enemy steal things from people don't ever take it lightly you are not to be worried but you are to rise up in prayer when it happens once twice one time it happens three uh, twice again please don't forget the when you're having sexual attacks, it means that there is something a devil is trying to do. The best thing is to rise up in prayer to push back the enemy and destroy that agenda. Amen. Beloved, there is an hour that is very dangerous and essential. It is essential and also dangerous. Why is what is that hour? It is the hour of sleep of man. The hour that a man sleeps. It is essential. Physically, your body gets renewed. 
your body receives strength again physically also spiritually it is the hour that the Lord speaks to his people it is the hour of divine revelations some people they cannot just do they will begin to receive downloads of divine revelations that is the tunnel through which God speaks to them it is essential because number one it is the hour that their body receive vitality re receive renewed strength also it is the hour that man receives divine revelations how do I mean hear what the Bible says in Job 32 33 Job 33 verse 15 and 16 Job 33 verse 15 and verse 16 verse 15 it says in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in slow brains upon the bed verse 16 then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instructions. Huh. Time of divine revelations. Time that, that God speaks to his people when they are sleeping. So it is an essential hour. Also, it is a dangerous hour. It is what? A dangerous hour. <laughs> the hour that the enemy we we'll say now he's sleeping. She is sleeping. Now conjure the demons. Let them enter. We know that that is the weak time. Just let her receive some fun. Just little fun. She is gone. The next thing you you be hearing is some strange noise. <laughs> She's gone. Just little fun. <laughs> That's the time they want to launch attack. And the Lord Jesus gave us insight about this. In Luke 22, Luke 22, verses 52 and 53. Luke 22 verses 52 and 53. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, be ye come out as against a thief with sword and staffs. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. <laughs> this is your hour. The hour that the powers of darkness operate. The sleep hour. The night hour. Say so this is your hour. When I was with you daily in the morning, afternoon, you, you didn't come. It is when men are sleeping. That's when you came to do your dirty game. So it is hour that is dangerous. Now, during that hour, the enemy tried to launch attack. The attack of sowing seed. Sowing seed into the lives of men. The Lord said in Matthew 13 and verse 25 Matthew 13 and verse 25 so when man sleeps the enemy came and so does in the wheat 13 verse 25 but why man slept his, his enemy came and so does among the wheat and went his way 
so that's among the woods and where it is with now to sow here it's not just to plant like crop like maize or cassava no to sow has to do with also has to do with having sexual intercourse with the victim and now planting evil seed in that person's life because that is what happens when demons come to sexually molest their victims they come to transfer seed into that person the seed depending on the on the aim on the objective it can be to transfer seed of job loss i know of uh, people some people in the past the person said each time he secures job and he has that dream the demon come to have sex the following day job loss something will just happen when he returns back to the place of his work he will say we will no longer need you here the seed has been planted over the night the seed of job loss also when they when they plant seed they can also plant seed of sickness and disease not all cancer are medical in fact, not all not all diseases are to, are, are to be taken medically. Mm -hmm. Not all cyst, not all fibroid, not all headache, not all eye disease must be taken medically. Majority are caused by demonic attack. Today I'm praying for somebody here. Amen. Any form of the morning seed in your body, in your life, in the name above every name, the fire consuming of the Lord, they sent now and bring them down to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also, when they plant seed, they also plant seed to exchange something. They plan seed to get something from that person, to steal from the person, to steal from the person. Today, every every attack, demonic sexual attack, in the name above every name, today the fire of God brings them down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you have lost through the sexual attacks today, in the name of every name, by the power of the Most High God, right now, take them back now. Amen. Let's look at few causes of demonic sexual attacks. Let's look at a few causes. I can give us like a ten, but uh, we we look at a few. And if the Lord leads us in this direction, sometimes in the future, we look at the remaining. Let us look at the first cause. Number one, unbroken ancestral covenant. Unbroken ancestral covenant. Unbroken ancestral covenant can bring about demonic sexual attacks. Unbroken ancestral covenant unbroken ancestral covenant unbroken ancestral covenant there is no family here where there is no demonic covenant there is no family on earth is there any family where they have never practiced witchcraft before idolatry before okay we are from western world we don't do such but your forefathers practiced in, in uh, adultery. They cannot do without sex. They indulge in hardcore pornography. They open channels for the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. 
And when the fathers committed iniquities, they don't know that they are bringing their children into covenant with the demons behind those scenes. The demons of pornography will be interested in the unborn dimension of that person practicing that iniquity. So it is not about the person. It is about the children of that person. Because that is what they are interested in the most. They want to afflict the, the unborn, the innocent children in the family. Let me give us a very good principle that explains this. Because of hatred, they wanted Jesus to be crucified at all costs. So much more. They said, give us Barabbas. Harden the criminal. They said, release that one for us. But this one that, that calls himself Jesus Christ, they said, God, please kill him. He must die. He must die. Do I chance him? He, he, he must die. Pi, uh, Pontius Pilate said, I didn't see any fault in, in him. Now, you know what this, these people said? Let us read together. In Matthew 27 and verse 25. Matthew 27 and verse 25. Matthew 27 and verse 25. We're going to read together. Matthew 27 and verse 25. Matthew 27 and verse 25. If you are there, let us read together. Want to go? Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Their children are born. They brought them on that covenant, on that seed, on that curse, on that judgment. This is what also happens when forefathers indulged in serious sins, adultery, fornication, lesbianism, homosexuality, murder, and so on, adultery. They, they, they didn't know that they were bringing the children, children on that curse. Now, beloved, you see, when this happens, and those demons infiltrate the bloodline of that father, of that ancestor, that saint, the first thing they want to do is to establish covenant with that family, with that bloodline. That is the first thing. The moment they establish covenant with the bloodline, every child that passes.